Hey, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. One of the most crucial aspects of working with After Effects is nesting and pre-composing. In several of my previous tutorials, I've talked about them with regard to the specific projects, but by request, I'm going to talk about them conceptually and show some of the ins and outs of nesting and pre-composing. First, since it's a pretty simple concept, let's talk about nesting. When you're working in After Effects, often you have many layers that you've animated in a certain way. You can add all of these layers to another composition at once by taking the entire composition from up here in the Projects panel and then dropping it into your current composition. As you can see, it shows up as a single layer, but all of your animation, whether 2D or 3D, is there. Again, this is called nesting because you're nesting it in another composition. On the other hand, there's pre-composing. Sometimes you've created a composition with many layers. You can isolate some of those layers and their effects by selecting them and choosing Layer Precompose. Now as you can see, a dialog pops up asking how you want to handle precomposing. But as you can also see, one of the options is grayed out. Right now, the only option available is Move All Attributes, which means take all animation keyframes and effects and move them into the precomposition. The other option, which is leave all attributes in the current composition, is only available for single layers that you are trying to pre-compose on their own. Now it's not available to us because we've selected many layers, but that option allows you to move the source footage into its own composition and then affect it in any way that you want while still keeping all of the animation keyframes and effects in the current composition. I'm willing to bet that the majority of the time that you pre-compose, you'll be choosing the move all attributes option. Also, within this dialog, you have the ability to name the new precomposition up here, as well as the option for having After Effects open the new composition. But for now, though, I'll choose not to. I can always open it later. Anyway, once you've decided all of that stuff, hit OK, and you'll see that After Effects has precomposed your layers and has nested that precomp here in your current composition. If you want to get into the nested composition, you can just right click on it in the timeline and then from the pop-up choose Open Composition, which opens the nested comp, or rather the pre-comp, and it's here that we can change any of the original animation. So as you can see, nesting and pre-composing are actually two sides of the same coin. They both lead to the same end, but take two different approaches to getting there. With all of that said, why would you bother nesting or pre-composing? You know, that's an excellent question, and I'll answer it in part two of this tutorial. In the meantime, don't forget to stop by the Creative Cow After Effects podcast forum and share your thoughts about this and other tutorials. Once again, this is Aaron Rubinowitz for creativecow.net.